In the beginning, before God created the universe and everything in it, his salvation plan was for Jesus to come to the earth. God selected a very special people to be part of Jesus' family. Mary, Jesus' mother, and Joseph, Mary's husband, were part of this special family. It was a family that could be traced back to the great King David, whom God had promised an eternal kingdom, and then to Abraham, through whom God has promised to bless the entire world. But before Mary and Joseph got married, God came to her and shared some astonishing news. God had chosen Mary to be Jesus' mother. God told Mary that she would become pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. When Joseph found out, he was hurt and confused. He didn't understand how Mary could be with child unless she had been unfaithful to him. Heartbroken, Joseph considered breaking his engagement to Mary and quietly ending their relationship. Before Joseph could go through with his plans, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel told Joseph that the child Mary was carrying was from the Holy Spirit, and there was no reason Joseph shouldn't marry her. Joseph was amazed and overjoyed by this incredible news. The angel told Joseph that the baby boy would fulfill God's promise to send his people a savior, and the baby should be named Jesus. Mary's baby was the Messiah. The Romans, who were in control of Israel at the time, ordered that everyone under their rule be counted. This meant that Joseph, and a very pregnant Mary, had to take a long and difficult journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem. The weary couple arrived to find the city overflowing with people who had all traveled to be counted. This presented a big problem for them because Mary was ready to give birth. With the inn full of travelers, Mary and Joseph took shelter in the only place still available, a stable. Next to horses and sheep, the savior of the world was born. Angels sang, and nearby shepherds came to worship the newborn king. On the night Jesus was born, a star shone brightly in the night sky over the stable where Jesus was born. It attracted the attention of a group of wise men called the Magi. The Magi, in wonder of this beautiful sight, followed the star in search of Jesus. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they asked King Herod where they could find the child who was born King of the Jews. Evil King Herod, angry at the idea that someone was trying to take away his power, asked the wise men to continue their search and to let him know where the child could be found so he could worship him. But worship wasn't King Herod's plan. King Herod was plotting to kill Jesus. The Magi followed the star until they reached the town of Bethlehem. Their long and difficult journey came to an end when the star stopped over the place where they found Mary and Joseph caring for the baby Jesus. The wise men bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Despite the humble surroundings, the wise men knew they were in the presence of holiness. They didn't need to find the baby in a palace to know that it was right to give Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh which were the types of gifts given to kings. In a dream, God warned the Magi and Mary and Joseph of King Herod's plan to kill Jesus. To help keep Jesus safe, the wise men began their long trip home in a different direction than they came, so they wouldn't run into King Herod. Mary and Joseph scooped up Jesus and escaped to Egypt. They stayed in Egypt until an angel of the Lord appeared in one of Joseph's dreams to tell him that King Herod had died and that it was finally safe for them to return home to Israel. Some years later in Israel, Jesus began his ministry, performing miracles, healing people, 
and ultimately sacrificing himself to save us from our sins.